Hey y'all, this your girl Creole Shawty Tarot coming at you with another video. This is going to be for my earth signs. So Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. So take what resonates, leave what does not. If it's not your story, don't make it fit. All right. Currently running the $20 reading special for those that's interested. All right. First come, first serve. I will resume doing personal readings on Wednesday. So just be looking out for that if you already paid for a reading. So let's get into it. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us for our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Holy Spirit, please protect my energy. Please allow me to be the channel and provide my earth signs with clear and honest messages. Holy Spirit. Clearing on his messages from my earth signs. First card out, we have the thirst. Then we have the surgeon. The seed. The sign, the sleeper. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so we have two twos in this reading. 22 could be significant. All right, we also have six, we have one, and we have eight. Double air, double fire. Okay, so you may resonate with the air as well as fire sign reading that I did. Um, and we only have the sleeper as your energy here. And here go this dog on fly. <clears throat> anyway, so um, yeah, earth signs, what I'm getting is there is something here that I feel like you want so badly with this thirst card. It's something here that you're seeking that you may feel like uh, you're deprived of in some way, form, or fashion, or this is somebody that's in your energy, okay? So take it how it resonates, but since this is your reading, Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, I'm going to read it like it's your energy. So... It's something here that you're wanting so bad, you're thirsting over it, you're desiring it so much to where um, there's a need to like definitely take care <clears throat> of yourself. And sometimes with caring for yourself, you have to do some inner work, some shadow work, healing. There could be some wounds that need to be sewn up with a surgeon here. Or something just needs to be cut out completely, right? Because you think about, you know, sometimes when people have surgery, whatever is um, a foreign object or does not belong or, you know, has overgrown, it needs to be cut out, right? In order for things to be back to normal functioning. So take that how that resonates. Now we have the seed here. The seed also came out for the fire sign. So you could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, or Sag. <clears throat> or you could have fire in your chart. And or air. And 
It's like something here is definitely cautioning you in regards to something here that you've been nurturing and watering possibly and putting into. This is why you're thirsty now because you've given all your water away, meaning emotion. To where I don't see any love, any emotion in this reading so far, right? So, in a sense, it's like you've been sleepwalking on something with a sleeper here. It's something here that you have not been paying attention to, have not been noticing, okay? It's like you could even be receiving dreams about what's going on and you overlooking that even or it's not clear to you it's not making sense you're not really trying to see what the meaning of certain things that you've been shown means for some of you all right behind the sleeper we have the gambler behind the gambler we have pride behind pride we have pandora's box <clears throat> a lot of secrets a lot that you're not seeing, a lot that you don't know. And your ego may be in a way of you being able to see. Something is very risky with the gambler. And with the surgeon here and the seed, which can be equivalent to to life, right? Something here can be come detrimental. Something can be life or death. But when are you going to wake up to see this is the question. Because I feel like for some of you all, you've been playing a dangerous game here with the gambler, right? And like I said, you know, maybe you constantly playing this game because it's boosting your ego some way. Or, you know, I'm kind of like seeing a vision of somebody with like this smug look on their face. They think that something is funny. All right. Pandora's box. Something here you don't know. You think you have a clue, but you have no clue. Somebody... Is hiding something that is going to put you in the energy of sorrow. And that's the first water card that has come out in your reading. And it's not even came out. It just was behind the surface. So it's funny till it's not funny no more. Right? But who's really to blame here? You are the other person. And whoever else may be involved, right? Yeah, you over here sleeping. Do you have an alarm clock set? When is the cutoff period? Because there's a lot being overlooked, a lot being hidden. And, you know, some surgeries you could bounce back from. Some of them you cannot. Okay. I'm also getting this energy with somebody here may be pregnant. All right. And blood pressure could be high. Somebody needs to drink more water. Because if not... If things don't change, if the water intake, like, if something here don't bring down somebody's blood pressure, they're going to have to have a cesarean. And they're going to end up on bed rest. Holy Spirit. Because I'm saying dehydration. Holy Spirit, what, in, what entities or deities my earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo is dealing with currently? Holy Spirit, what entities or deities my earth sign is currently dealing with? Holy Spirit.
Lilith. Hmm. Somebody has air in that chart. Lilith came out for the air sign reading. And we also have the thinker. More air energy. Speaking of the mind in the air sign reading. The father of knowledge. Knowledge, instruction, reinvention. So, like I said, something here is cautioning you. This thirst energy, okay, for some of you all, this is like a Jezebel spirit that is lingering in your energy, whether it's you or somebody else. But you're doing it because you can, and this is your choice, right? We have Aaron at the bottom of the deck, master of the great hunt, authority to hunt, natural balance here. Hmm. For some of you all, you've been waiting to find somebody like this person that you're thirsting over, right? But you better know what it is that you're thirsting after. I'm going to read Lilith and the Thinker. So Lilith, the thief of life, a nature, I'm sorry, a creature who has inspired multiple legends across the number of domains and cultures. She pays no attention to border or boundary, consuming any lost soul that wanders across her path in her insatiable hunger. So yeah, with hunger comes thirst most of the time, right? Lilith is the principle of bottomless appetite, that which consumes without nourishment or purpose, and is never sated. Where Lilith appears, examine your desires with an honest eye. Would achieving them truly feed you, or are you following an instinct without understanding what it serves? I feel like what this is serving is your ego. It's kind of giving me the energy of you only want something because somebody else has it. And even when you get it, it's still not enough. There's always more that you're seeking for, right? So it's giving the energy of two lost people sleepwalking. Let's get into uh, the thinker. The father of knowledge, the thinker's formidable intellect has persisted even into the afterlife and he has no illusions about who or what he was in life or in death. So somebody knows exactly what it is that they're doing. They cannot say that they don't know. This could be this very person that you're thirsting after. His will and reason form the foundations of the city district around him, and he uses his knowledge to instruct those who come to his university of the mind. So like I said, some of you all, you're dealing with an air sign. The thinker teaches us that there is no state in which and from which we cannot learn, and that often the best way to improve is to teach and exchange knowledge with others. So some of you all, you may be dealing with somebody who is in like into education, educating other people, okay, um, something of that nature, okay. You may even be an educator yourself. Take it how it resonates. Um, but I feel like somebody is misusing the knowledge that they have been blessed with. For others of you, I'm getting this energy where whatever this is that you're going through, you're going to learn a lesson from it. And this, this knowledge that you're going to be getting from this lesson is going to teach you, first of all, how to not avoid instruction. And for two, you're not going to have any choice but to reinvent yourself, reconstruct yourself with this surging energy, Right?
So the thinker, the father of knowledge is about to teach this thief of life. A lesson that they're not looking forward to. Holy Spirit. What is the overall message and advice for my earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo? I am entitled to miracles. The miracle is the ability to come out of surgery healthy. And by surgery, I mean this reinvention. Things could have been a lot worse or could be a lot worse for a lot of you all that's going to make it out on the other side of this cutting away, this repair that you're going through. For some of you all, you're going to have to start all over is what I'm getting with the surgeon and the seed. I'm seeing like something being cut down, cut off completely and a need to replant, right? I am entitled to miracles. You are entitled to miracles because of what you are. You will receive miracles because of what God is. And you will offer miracles because you are one with God. Because you all, you know that it's going to be only God that can pull you out of this situation that you're about to go through. Light and joy and peace abide in me. You are created as... You are as God created you, not what you made of yourself. You hear this, right? Whatever evil you may think you did, you are as God created you. So meaning that if you did do evil to anybody, you did it because God the person that gives knowledge is teaching you a very valuable lesson at this time. Whatever mistakes you made, the truth about you is unchanged. Let that sit in. Your sinlessness is guaranteed by God. So once you go through this reinvention, this reconstruction of your life, yourself, your sins are going to be atoned for, but only for those who truly repent. <sighs> yeah. It's giving like a dollar tree. It's giving adultery. It's giving <clears throat> witchcraft. Yeah. All of that. So that's what I have for you, Earth Signs. I hope you all enjoyed this message. And until next time, bye.